Okay, today, let's look and see how good a job this Freightliner Cascadia Cruise Control does at keeping separation from traffic that's in front of me. One thing I wanted to talk about is <laughs> something else. We'll get to that cruise control in a minute. The AC controls in the Cascadia. Now, I may be the only one in the world that did not realize this. And if I am, just keep moving, okay? <laughs> but this button here, the restart button, when it's like this, getting air from the outside when it's when it's like that just getting air recirculated now AC button in the middle turns green that's just a normal setting that's all I thought there was but if you turn it push it again it turns blue that's max Max cold. <laughs> now, I don't know if I just forgot that or never knew it. But I found that out the other day. That'll help me a lot when I'm out here in West Texas this summer when it's 110 degrees outside. Okay, coming into the construction zone in Sweetwater. See if we can get a little better representation. Going 67. Set at 68, and the following distance is getting closer. It should start slowing me down here. Now if you see there, the engine brake actually came on. Downshifted. It's doing a pretty good job of keeping me separated from them slowing down. I haven't touched the pedal, accelerator, brake. But they are slowing down. We're down to 53. Engine brake comes on. Downshift again. So it does a pretty good job. Now, let's see what happens when they start going again. Following distance warning did not come on. So it's keeping me within the, the parameters that it wants me to keep. Now, if they slow down a lot, I will have to get on the brake. But this thing is keeping up. Now we're at 2.9 seconds following distance. It's spreading out a little bit. As we get past where the actual work was going, they should start speeding up. Once it gets me above three seconds following distance started speeding up a little bit now the international did not do as good a job keeping the separation it was it would get behind really quick and I would have to actually touch the pedal myself which is not a bad thing you got to be ready you got to be prepared to do anything but it did not work as advertised not as well as this Cascadia does and now when we come out of here, there was the International with the cruise on trying to let the truck keep our separation. It would not accelerate very fast. It would take a long time for it to give the fuel to the motor to get going again. But here we are at 3.2 and we're keeping separation 3.3 seconds. And as we get past these workers, these guys should start speeding up. Here's the end of the construction. And there we go. So that's how the cruise control works really good in this uh, Cascadia. I'm really liking that. And it's keeping me out of trouble, if you know what I mean. So we'll see you later. Okay, yeah, that's how good a job it does. Pretty good job as far as I'm concerned. Just remember, you still got to pay attention to the traffic in front of you. <laughs> you can't just, it's not an autonomous truck. So <laughs> keep that in mind if you're in one of these. So go down in the description, check out all my links. Check out the subscribe button, push that if you haven't already. Hit that alarm notification bell 
you'll get notified every time I drop a video. Like this video for me too, please. And we'll see you later.